Well, good morning, folks. It's Thursday and it's ginger beer with Job. Coffee with Job. And we are looking at chapter 32, Elihu. Now, one of the things that's a real problem in our society is the way that we discuss with one another. And I think what I'm very, very concerned about is the tribalism. So I know that if I post certain things on Twitter or on Facebook, there'll be an immediate reaction. And it bothers me that we find it increasingly difficult to disagree with one another. And I think there are some principles in this actually that will help us. So Elihu son of Barakal the Buzzite said, Job 32 verse six, I am young in years and you are old. That is why I was fearful, not daring to tell you what I know. That's actually not a bad idea to show respect to the elderly. It was interesting that uh, David Ellis, who was uh, a missionary in Malaysia and Singapore and elsewhere, he once said to me that when he sought to teach students in the UK, they wanted to tell him what they knew and that the Asian students wanted to learn what he knew. and that would to me indicate why the Asian countries are just streaming ahead in terms of education. But anyway, respect for age. I thought age should speak, advanced years should teach wisdom. But it is the spirit in a person, the breath of the Almighty that gives them understanding. It is not only the old who are wise, not only the aged who understand what is right. Well, ain't that the truth? You're not guaranteed wisdom by being older. Although you would hope that by being older, you gain experience, which would give you wisdom. Therefore, I say, listen to me. I too will tell you what I know. I waited while you spoke. I listened to your reasoning while you were searching for words. First principle. Okay. The first principle is listen, listen to the elderly. The second is wait. I listened to your reasoning. I gave you my full attention. But not one of you has proved Job wrong. None of you has answered his arguments. Do not say we have found wisdom. Let God, not a man, refute him. Well, so far, so good. So listen to the elderly. Listen. Examine someone's reasoning. Then have the courage to say you haven't answered. But Job has not marshaled his words against me, and I will not answer him with your arguments. Okay, a little bit arrogant maybe, but fair enough. They are dismayed and have no more to say. Words have failed them. Must I wait? Now they are silent. Now that they stand there with no reply. I too will have my say. I too will tell what I know. For I am full of words and the spirit within me compels me. Well, there is a time to be silent and a time to speak. And I, I, I must admit, I love this passion. Um, it's just, you know, full of words that I, I, I must admit, I've, I've had that for most of my life. And, you know, I keep thinking, well, you have to be quiet. You have to be quiet. But sometimes you feel that you've just, you're just burdened that you've got to say this. And that's Elihu here. Inside, I'm like bottled up wine, like new wineskins ready to burst. I must speak and find relief. I must open my lips and reply. I will show no partiality, nor will I flatter anyone. For if I were skilled in flattery, my maker would soon take me away. So he's saying, Job, I'm not going to butter you up. I've listened to you. I've listened to your friends. They gave arguments and you were able to answer them. Now I want you to listen to me. I'm bursting inside. Now let's not be too harsh in judging Elihu. Maybe he has, as we'll see, he has some good things to say. But I just think there are some really good principles here for how we discuss and how we argue. I, I'm just sometimes so depressed at the, at the level of discussion and debate and argument. I, I sometimes, you know, I look in a mirror and I'm at fault with many things as well. I'm not saying it's them out there. I'm, I'm saying how I conduct myself needs to be thought about. But perhaps take this from it. It's good to wait, it's good to listen, but it's also good to speak. What's the old saying, God give us two ears, one mouth? 
shows the value of listening, but also speaking. Well, God bless you and see you again tomorrow. Uh, you can see it's a wee bit of a drink day today. Uh, I will see you tomorrow morning. Uh, hopefully, well, I'm going to be at the cricket, but I will try and record something before I go. See you then. Bye.